Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and we're just kind of cru casually cruising through these coliseums. It, these guys haven't really been putting up much of a fight, but uh, you know, this is this is nice. It's, if nothing else, it's kind of relaxing. That's a strange title. Youthful couple? I mean, can you be a couple with yourself? Okay, anyway, uh, Wormadam, Poliwork, Corsola, Gloom, Love Disc, Weepin' Bell, Water, and Grass. That's what we have here. Okay, uh, who do we have who fights Water and Grass? Uh, not Rhyhorn, for sure. Um, not War Turtle. Uh, Monferno, maybe? Ivysaur should be fine. Uh, I can't Toxic the Weeping Bell or Gloom, so that'd be awkward. Uh, but Ivysaur would be fine. Um, uh, Staravia can handle the grass. Ivysaur would be able to handle the water. And then we can just throw Dragonair in there, just for fun. So let's do that. Alright, battle number five! Couple more left. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying your youth. That is, that is a good thing. Staravia intimidates its opponent. Alright. So the Love Disc and from the red corner, should definitely evolve into a Lomomola, but it doesn't. The battle begins. Oh, you're just going to attract right away. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hopefully we break through so we can U-turn. God. Staravia. Stop thinking with your deck. Switch to Ivysaur. Actually, I probably should have switched to Dragonair since Dragonair is a girl. No, well, at least we can get a leech seed off if we need to. Love this. Water pulls. Ha! I'm a grass type. The air in the Coliseum is. Yeah, so let's throw out a leech seed. Oh no. This is a real annoying set. Okay. Ivysaur became confused. We just switch. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, definitely we just switch. Because at least Dragonair is immune to half of this thing's status moves. <laughs> I just saw the... <laughs> ah, I just saw the catchphrase again. Oh dear. Take down. Oh no! Did nothing. And damage yourself. Was it worth it? <laughs> I don't think so. The move fails. Girl. Shockwave. It's a direct hit. All right, one more of those should do it. Oh, uh, never mind. And feels the relief. May go very. Both corners are carefully yeah. examining their opponent. Take down. You hurt yourself again. Cool. Does practically nothing to me. Shock wave. I think that's a helicopter going around. Taken down by an intense blow. Don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, no, that's a hel helicopter. Wormadam is sent out. That happens sometimes. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. Alright, Wormadam is who we're fighting now. Let's paraflin, shall we? That seems like a reliable move. Dragonair uses its move. Oh, it might have shed skin though. Hmm. Or a cherry berry, I guess. Huh. The move okay. Fails. Okay, so I'm starting to sense a theme here with this real steam, in that they all have moves that. Are specific to gender. Hmm. But this is not okay. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. Who's going to take the glory? A light hit. 
Oh wow, that didn't do a lot. Uh, I guess this is gonna take a while. It's not gonna work. It didn't work the first time. I'm not switching out. So... If you're gonna keep doing that, then this is just gonna be me slowly winning. Oh, hidden power! What type is it? It was neutral, so... Uh, it could be fighting, or normal, or poison. Mm -hmm. Probably missing something else. Flying, could be flying. Neither corner has made a decisive attack. Uh, yet. Rock. Are they playing a waiting game? Ground. There's a lot of different types that that hidden power could be. If it's neutral on you know, mono dragon type. The red corner cannot move. <laughs> well, both corners. Oh, well, we got the flinch. Alright. Cool. There's the para. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. This strat just feels so unfair. Like, even if these people were good, it'd be hard to fight. A round of light attacks. Hey, there's the citrus berry. The Does Citrus Berry heal at half health Which in this game? Because I'm pretty situation. sure in other games it you have to have like a quarter. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. Polyworld is sent out. Uh -huh. the I have just the thing for you, Mr. Polyworld. Have a shock wait oh you're faster, okay. Bubble beam. Okay, okay, that's fine. Shockwave! A fierce blow! He did. It's a direct hit! Nice. Polyworld restored And it now. has a berry, because of course it does. The battle has reached its final stage. Shockwave! Hypnosis. Oh, please don't tell me that. Okay. Cool. Hypnosis has like 55 accuracy, so it's uh there's a decent chance it's not gonna hit you. A huge amount of damage! It's down! Alright, and there goes the young couple. The results are Wait. In. It's a total victory for Was the it? blue corner. I hope it wasn't referring to her and her Pokemon. Cause that would be weird. Hmm. Yeah, let's not think about that too much. Sci-Fi Maniac. Oh yeah, that looks like a Sci-Fi Maniac. Definitely, eh, I guess that looks like it could be like a cosplay or something. Anyway, Wormadam, Mawile, Yanma, Laron, Mothim, Delcaddy. This entire team is weak to fire. Monferno, I'm counting on you. <laughs> oh, I guess Laron's not weak to fire, but he is weak to fighting, so... Monferno, I'm counting on you. Let's see, we got bug types and flying types and steel types. That's Steel Wormadam, by the way, if you couldn't tell. The, the pink coat means it's steel, whereas the one we just fought is grass, because it's got the green coat. Uh, let's see, who do we have? Who else do we have? Rhyhorn's good against steel, more or less. And then... I guess we could go Staravia into Yanma and Mothim. Sure. Let's do that. This is the first time we'll get to see Monferno, which is neat. Semi-final round. Hello, you! Uh, I mean, it's... I, I wouldn't wear it daily, but like, so no, it's not terrible. That there's no doubt this will be a great battle. All right, give him a quick mock punch. The stage is set, and the probably won't kill because Lan has pretty good defense. But oh, crit though! Right crit start. actually mattered. <laughs> nice. All right, looks like RNG's Jesus is swinging our way. Martin is sent out. Oh yeah, this is... Alright, so Laron was kind of the only one I was worried about. So from this point, it should just be a sweep. Fire Punch! 
Bang. Done. Taken down by an intense blow. And worm it down. Yep, that's gonna die too. <laughs> yeah, you, you best be shuddering, cause uh, you about to die. Fire punch. Bam. Done. Yeah, no, uh, that uh, that crit really secured us the win there. Cause if Laren had survived and used her ground move or something, it might have might have taken care of Inferno. And then I might be in trouble, but... Uh, you know, buddy, I don't know that I would call that great fashion sense. Yeah, it takes more than an outfit to be a good trainer. And this Coliseum leader has cat ears. Cool. Alright, Pachirisu, Luxio, Love Disc, Jigglypuff, Curlia, Bonsly. Alright, so... Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn is good into Pachirisu and Luxio and Bonsly, but it's not good into Love Disc. So I don't know that I want to lead with Rhyhorn. Uh, the safe bet is always to lead with Staravia, except that there's two electric types and a rock type in there. Um, so maybe not. Uh, for Love Disc, we can definitely use either Ivysaur or Dragonair. Uh, I don't really see any drawbacks to that, except maybe Curly against Ivysaur is a bad matchup for me. But it shouldn't be a big deal. Let's start with Dragonair, because Dragonair is not really concerned about any of these guys. Uh, and then Rhyhorn and Ivysaur. That should do it. Fam, what you got for me? Final round. The challenger, who's already Hello, this you. Far, is going oh, no, there. She's dressed like a Pachirisu, never mind. They're not cat ears, they're rat ears? From the blue corner, Dragonair. I guess. And from the red corner, Fire flinch time. Here they come. The battle begins. What you gonna hit me with, Bonsai? Rock polish? Okay. Well. Yes, kind of countered the, thund uh, the Thunder Wave, but also, like, I was already faster, so, you know, I think I'll be fine. And the Parrot Flinch begins. Or not? Alright, fake tears, I guess. Who oh, knows? My special defense is... Twister! A rigid shock! Air flinch? No! Okay, rock throw. Guess we're going with that. Is Ooh, that, was a, that was a decent a chunk. That's like a 5 hit KO. Coliseum. Hold on, let me do the math. 43? Oh, 4 hit KO. Twister? Big hit. Nice. It went down! Bye bye. Jigglypuff is sent out. Oh, Jigglypuff. Alright, also not worried about Jigglypuff, can Pokemon. pretty much just do the but same thing. Thunderwave! Ouch! It was paralyzed! What you gonna do? Gyro Ball? I mean, oh. I think I might have actually powered that up, since Gyro Ball works better the slower you are, and Paralysis slows you. I don't know if Paralysis Dragonair actually affects the power of Gyro Ball, but if so, I might have actually made him stronger. <laughs> but that's fine. Because we're Paraflinching. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little strong, this technique. As I have said. Gyro Ball! Yeah, see, it's doing a decent amount of damage. One more of those would probably kill me, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this twister off first, so... Bam! Bam. It went oh, down. crit mattered. Oh, 
Ah, there's the love disc. You're the one I've been waiting for. Although, I, once again, Dragonair is kind of low. Oh well. One Shockwave from Dragonair, and then a, and then a Magical Leaf from Ivysaur should do it. It's a direct hit. What do you got for me, Love Disc? Rain Dance. Oh. I mean, if you have Swift Swim, then I guess that's good. But otherwise, that was probably the wrong move. Okay, it does have Swift Swim. All right, good, good, good. good. All right. I'm glad. It went down. All right, and Dragonair goes down again. That's fine. Just that's fine. Dragonair is just kind of the scapegoat here. That's fine. There we go, Ivysaur! Here's an easy kill for you. Magical Leaf. Water balls won't do much. Yeah, nothing. And let's go. Done. Nice. It's down and out. Bye. The results are in. The blue corner pulled off an impressive victory. Get the challenger won the knockout battle. Get wrecked. Indeed, it was fun. And that'll do it for that Coliseum. Not bad. You cleared the Main Street Coliseum. Congratulations! 350 points will be given as a reward for clearing the Main Street Coliseum knockout battle. Yay! Also, the Pikachu badge will be given to you as a reward for clearing Main Street Coliseum for the first time. Neat! By the way, there's news from Poketopia. Waterfall Coliseum has just opened. You should go battle there. Well then, I hope you continue to have a great time here in Poketopia. Alright, well, that was pretty uh, succinct, I think. Uh, next time, we'll probably be heading off to the Waterfall Coliseum, or maybe we'll revisit one of the Coliseums, not sure. Uh, but next time is next time. As for now, that's a wrap. Boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo, doo -doo -doo. I really do hope this gets harder.